there's many different treatment options for prostate cancer. And it's actually fairly complicated and a very individualized choice for patients. Uh, ultimately, that's the most important thing is to have a patient that's well informed and, and understands all of his options. One option is what's called active surveillance, and, and that is to follow the prostate cancer with the, the hopes that the prostate cancer isn't going to be a threat to the patient's life. So some prostate cancers can take longer than 10 years to cause death, and therefore some patients choose not to have the cancer treated, especially some older patients with limited life expectancy. Traditionally, the two most common ways that curative therapy of the prostate uh, is administered is either surgery or radiation. And that also is complicated. There, there's good and bad things about surgery, and there, there's good and bad things about radiation. Radiation can be delivered with radioactive seeds that are placed into the prostate. That's called brachytherapy. It also can be delivered with external beam radiation therapy. And there's pros and cons of, of each modality. Some patients choose to have surgery for their prostate cancer. The surgery for prostate cancer is called a prostatectomy. It involves the complete removal of the entire prostate. And there's traditionally the, the, the cancer has been removed using open techniques. Nowadays, it's possible to remove the prostate laparoscopically. When it's removed laparoscopically, it's oftentimes done with the use of a robot uh, to assist in the surgery. Uh, the robot controls some of the instruments that, that help with the surgery. And what the robot does is allows a very complex uh, laparoscopic procedure to, to be performed using these instruments. The advantages of performing the procedure robotically are that there's less blood loss. There's also a shorter recovery afterwards. There tends to be less pain, less pain medication requirements as well. So patients have a, an earlier convalescence, they get back to work sooner. Sometimes patients can have a catheter taken out sooner as well after the procedure. Now, no new procedure is worth doing if it doesn't have good outcomes long term. And when we talk about outcomes long term, we talk about cancer control, we talk about urinary leakage, and also control of erections or erectile function afterwards. And although there's some controversy, it's generally felt that the cancer control of robotic prostatectomy is at least as good as doing the procedure in an open fashion. The same is true for the urinary control. In fact, most studies show an earlier return of urinary control after having done the procedure robotically, laparoscopically. And then finally, erectile dysfunction is a complication of prostate cancer surgery. When you look at robotic surgery, the, the, the nerves that control erections can, can be spared either open or robotically. The literature would suggest that there's an earlier return of erectile function, which can sometimes take months or years after prostate cancer surgery. So uh, early return is something that's beneficial for patients as well.